We're here at the National Off Licence Awards 2018. I'm here with John Shiel from Shields Landis in Malahide. John is a former chairman of NOFLA and a long-standing contributor to the association. You've also taken part in these awards over the years, John. Um, how have you seen a change? Oh, Anita, over the years, I have to say that the standards have risen so dramatically uh, that it's become really a benchmark tool for, for, for the industry. Uh, you know, the quality of the off-licence stores that are out there and the quality of the personnel in the stores is absolutely terrific. The consumer has become much more sophisticated in, in, in the product that they want. They've become much more sophisticated about the knowledge that they have, be it wines, be it beers, be it craft beers, be it spirits, be it gin, be it whiskies. They, they, they've, they're, they're, the demands have become much more complex. And as a retailer, we, we've got to meet that expectation. And if we don't meet that expectation, it, uh, we're not doing them justice. And, you know, the awards help us to benchmark against what's being done out there in the industry in terms of that knowledge, in terms of that range that's being offered and in terms of the service that's being offered to the customers. And that at the end of the day is really what it's all about. Brilliant. And what else would help contribute? Is there a certain amount of training required to kind of up your standards? Oh, training, uh, training is ongoing. I mean, you, you'd have to look at uh, the RCT, RTC training that uh, NOFLA engages in. The, you know, to train retailers to be responsible is very uh, effective. Uh, but it's also the Wine and Spirit Education Trust that education people in, in, in terms of wines. And, you know, the awards that NOFLA do with, the, with wines and with the beers are, are tremendous in, in making an awareness out there of the range and the standard and the quality that's available out there. Okay. Never mind just meeting fellow members and just having a conversation about what actually is you know, happening in the trade and what, what products are interesting and what products are moving, what products people should be looking at. Yeah. So it's tremendous from that point of view. Not just, it, a, not just a business point of view, but also a social point of view. And it seems just from kind of watching as an onlooker the awards tonight, there's a tremendous amount of respect for each other um, and your peers. Like there's a certain rivalry, but it's a friendly rivalry. Would you comment on that? Well, I think you'd have to ask some of the members whether it's friendly or not. There is, yes, of course, this friendly rivalry. Um, there's, there's definitely, it's taken with a great deal of seriousness this competition because the prestige of the competition is, is, is huge and it means quite a lot to the people that are participating in the competition if they win it. Very few winners win this on, on more than a few occasions, such as the standard and such as the way that the ball changes hands and such as the competitiveness for the winning of this competition. So from that point of view it's tremendous in terms of raising overall standards.